Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God once again, people of God, for giving us such a wonderful day like this. It is a joy to enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. And what does it say? It says we are to rejoice and be glad in it. It is a choice to make in all the things that he has done and let it make sure that it works for us in every area. We thank God that we have gotten this great opportunity coming your way. We know that you're going to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus because we come with nothing but pure encouragement. We are not here to talk you down. We are not here to accuse you. We are just coming to you with the pure word of God in the mighty name of Jesus, which is able to strengthen you, to empower you, to encourage you to continue in the Lord. Father, we thank you as I pray in the name of Jesus, committing your children into your hands. We thank you for your grace and your favor. We thank you for the abundant grace that you have given unto us to prosper in everything. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We commit those who are going through struggles into your hands. We pray that they will be strengthened. They will be encouraged. They will be empowered in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the reason why you came. You came to encourage us. You came to save us. You came to empower us. You came so that we will conquer every threat that is out there in the mighty name of Jesus. So we empower ourselves today in the name of Jesus through your word. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 10. We're going to read from verse number 11. So powerful. Listen to it very, very carefully. This is what the word of God says. It says, Now, all these things happen to them as examples. As examples. Those, that's what the scriptures are there for us as examples, and they were written for our admission. Hallelujah. They written that we will be and strengthened and encouraged, knowing what they went through, and at the end of it all, they came out successfully. So those are the reason why they were written. So you and I will not be discouraged, but rather be encouraged in the name of Jesus that if they went through and they succeeded, you will go through and you will succeed in the name of Jesus. Let me finish it. And then he says that, Upon whom the ends of the ages have come. Wonderful. Now verse number 12. Say, Now therefore, let him who thinks he stands, take heed, lest he fall. Don't be proud in your spirit. Don't understand that you can go it in your own way or do it in your own way. That is what he says is that scriptures were written. So if you go against the scriptures, there is nothing out there for you. You're going to fail. So don't think that, oh, you can do it in your own way. Maybe you've been there for a long time. You know certain things and know certain people. It doesn't really matter. It may be good in certain area. But when it comes to the things of God, you've got to abide by the word of God. Then he says that, let us, let him who thinks he's done, take heed, let him fall. Number 13, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. Hey, when God is with you, the problem will come. Hallelujah. It may come, but Bible says yes, that that is not designed to destroy you. The problem is not designed to conquer you. The problem is not designed to finish you. The problem came for you to be strengthened, for you to be encouraged. He says yes, that it did not come to destroy you. That is what the word of God says. Yes. It did not come. He says it is common to you. Common means that you can master it. Common means that you can rule it. Common means that you can finish it. Common means that you can overcome it in the name of Jesus to man. But God is faithful. Hallelujah. The God that you serve, he is faithful. He is faithful. 
how faithful he is. He says that he's not going to allow you to suffer in the Lord. He's not going to allow you to go through it and so that you'll be so overwhelmed and there is nothing you can do. No, he says he's faithful. Why is he faithful? Now get it right. He says that he will not allow you to be tempted beyond your capability. What you are able, but the temptation will also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. If you are looking into your Bible right now, he didn't say that he's going to take it away completely. He says that there will be a way that you can bear it. It is measured in the way that you can bear it because that temptation, that trouble is also good for your upbringing. It is also good for your growth. It is also good for certain things that you don't know yet. So he says, we must bear it, we must endure it. And after enduring it, we'll come up with strength and courage to succeed in all the things that we do. So now therefore, I encourage you, child of God, that this problem may be you are facing, whatever thing that you are going through, it is not here to condemn you. It is not here to destroy you. As others may be telling you, as others may suggesting to you, maybe they are condemning you because of what you are going through. Maybe they are laughing at you because of what you are going through. Hey, your time is coming that they will see the glory of God working in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remember a gentleman called Joseph. Bible says yes, a time came. He visited prison. He was cleaning in people's houses. He was doing all kinds of odd jobs but when the time came bible says that god lifted him up and when he got the opportunity to sit around with his people he said to them yes you meant it for evil but god has another thing for me in the mighty name of jesus today we speak into your life it is not over at all so don't give up god is on your side he says he will not allow a temptation that you cannot bear Handle it with care. Handle with the word of God. Handle it with God on your side. And at the end of the day, you will see nothing but the glory of God. So don't let yourself down at all. And remember, conquer every fear. Find hope and be encouraged. God is on your side. We love you so much.